guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be running through my monthly favorites. It's mostly going to be focusing on makeup, but then I also want to incorporate a few little lifestyle favorites as well. This month, I have just been reaching for the same products over and over again, so I wanted to share with you what I've been using. So if this sounds good, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let's get into the video. So starting out with primers, I have really been into a glowy, luminescent primer. Now that it's winter in Australia, I don't have to worry about keeping my makeup on through the heat and the sweat of summer. So I can play around a little bit more with the glowy primers. First up, I have the designer brands Rise and Prime Luminescent Primer. So this one is quite a runny, liquidy formula. You can see it's got a bit of a tint to it, but when you blend it out, it just looks clear on the skin and it gives the most beautiful sheen. Look at that. This one gives more of a dewy finish as well, which I've really been loving. It does have a smell to it. It's not fragranced, but I don't know. There is a smell. I can't explain it. If you're sensitive to fragrances, I don't think it will affect you, but I don't know. There's something going on. I've really been dipping into the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation this month, which I will talk about soon. And this primer underneath that foundation just looks so gorgeous. I did want to try out a few more dewy finishes in foundations, but I find they don't last as long on my skin and I need my makeup to last at least throughout my work day. So the solution for me was to go in with a glowy primer and this one is amazing and it's really affordable too. I then have another glowy primer. This one is the L'Oreal Glow Cherie Natural Glow Enhancer. Now this one isn't as liquidy. Again, it has a slight tint, but once you blend it out, you can't see the color. I find that this one isn't as strong as the designer brands. So I like using this one when I'm doing no makeup makeup because it gives me that healthy glow to my skin, but without looking too shiny, which I think the designer brands can look like if you don't put foundation over the top of it. Now this one does have a scent. It smells like watermelon. It's actually really nice, but if you don't like scents, then you will not enjoy it. This one is also really hydrating and it gives a nice smoothing effect to the skin as well, which again is perfect for those no makeup makeup days. My next favorite has been the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. Now, if you didn't see, I recently did a review on this concealer and it was my very first sponsored video for my YouTube channel, which was really exciting. Now, this mention here isn't sponsored. I really really love this concealer. As you would know, there are heaps of concealers out there that claim to be as full coverage as Shape Tape, and I am here to tell you they're not, okay? The only one that's even ever come close is the e.l.f. Chemo Concealer, and now this one. So I have the second lighter shade, which is Ivory 322, and this one here matches my skin tone. So again, it is perfect for those no makeup makeup days. It covers my blemishes. I like to put a little bit under the eyes and pat it out with my finger. And it just gives a really full but natural coverage. It retails for $29.95 here in Australia, which does seem pretty expensive, but it actually comes with 11 mils of product, which is so much product. Your average concealer comes with between four to eight mils if you're lucky. Shape Tape comes with 10. This comes with 11. So you are getting a lot of product and it's value for money. It also has a nice big doe foot applicator, just like Shape Tape and the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, which I really, really love. If you watch a lot of my videos, you would know how obsessed I am with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I have not touched that concealer since I picked this one up. So that's saying something. And then another product by L'Oreal I have been loving, and this is also a new release here in Australia, is the Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. I did upload a full review on this, so I will have that linked down below. And in that review, I explained the difference with the shades. So in Australia, there were only 10 shades released, so I did have to pick this one up off of eBay, and it is the shade 400 Pearl. It is the perfect shade. It matches me so well, has a beautiful neutral undertone, a nice medium to full coverage, and it just gives that really nice natural satin matte finish. 
I have been wearing this one every day to work. It lasts really well, and as I said before, it looks gorgeous with that designer brand's primer underneath. Next, I have some favorite brow products, and the first one I've had in my collection for quite a while, but I just started dipping back into it, leading up to my full face of designer brands video. So this is the Brow Power Tinted Brow Gel, and I have it in the shade Taupe. So when my brows aren't tinted, they are barely there. So what I've been doing is going in with this gel and tinting the brows because it makes it easier to fill in when I can see what's going on. Because it tints the hairs, it shows me the shape that is already there and I can work around that. I like this one because it doesn't leave the brows feeling really stiff. I can go over the top of it with a pencil and a spoolie and some more brow gel if I need to. So with that being said, it's not going to set your brows in place, but it does give a really nice tint. So then after applying that, I've been going in with the Urban Decay Brow Blade Pen. So one side of this is a nice micro tip pencil, and then the other side is a brush applicator. So after applying the brow gel, I go in with the pencil side and draw my brow in. So I put a little extra at the front, I draw in the tail and fill in any sparse areas. Then what I like to do is take the brush applicator and at the front of my brow, I just draw tiny little strokes and it just gives more of a hair-like appearance. I find when I'm just filling in my brows with the pencil, because there is so much to fill in, you can see that they don't look real and they look like they've been drawn on. But adding in the strokes with the brush just makes them look so much more real and bushy and hairy, which for me is a really good thing. Again, I have a full review on this product, so I'll link it down below if you want to watch it. Next is a highlighter, and I don't know if I've talked about this much on my channel, but oh my god, is it amazing. So this is by Mecca Cosmetica, and it is the Enlightened Lip From Within Illuminating Balm. I got this as a free birthday gift from Mecca Maxima. If you don't live in Australia, that's the store where we buy a lot of our high-end products from. So as the title suggests, this is a highlighting balm. So it just leaves the most gorgeous, wet-looking, glowing skin. Oh. Oh my god. I like to go in with the bum of my beauty blender and just pop it in there and then squeeze this nice and tight so it's a bit more precise. I've already got quite a pop and highlighter on, so let me just do it on the back of my hand. I just dab it on my cheekbones like this and look, oh there, that's it. <gasps> look at that. I did wipe off the primers off the back of my hand by the way as well, so this is all the illuminating balm. Oh. Another thing I love about it is that you can apply it over the top of powder products. So I usually do all my base using powder products and then I go in with this and it doesn't lift up any of the product underneath. It just glides on over the top and looks stunning. And then the last thing I want to talk about is another product by L'Oreal. I'm sorry there are so many, they have just released some banging products lately. This here is the Shake and Glow Illuminating Setting Spray. So I originally saw Jessica Braun talk about it in one of her YouTube videos and I trust her opinion like 110%, so I knew I had to get my hands on this. So this has the most fine mist I have ever experienced. Watch this. Oh, do you just hear that? Do you hear that? Oh my God. Here's my current highlighter situation. I give it a good shake. Oh, it just looks glossy. You know what I mean? That's all I apply as well. Just a one pump on each side of the face and my skin looks so fresh. So glowy, I look healthy and alive. I freaking love it. I've literally only used this much of the product, but I've already bought it back up. <laughs> Unnecessary, yeah, but I love it. It's from the same line as the Glow Cherie Primer, but it doesn't have that watermelon scent. So if you don't like scents, you're safe with this one. So they are all my favorite makeup products of the month. As I mentioned, I wanna talk about a few other favorites. First, starting with music. So there's this new Australian artist called Tones and I. She has, I think, three songs out at the moment, and they are all 
absolute bangers. If you're in Australia, I'm sure you would have heard about her because everyone has been raving and raving about her. If you're overseas though, I'm not sure if you would have. So this is my public service announcement to get onto it right now. Dance Monkey is my favorite. She just has the most unique voice. It literally gives me goosebumps. If you haven't listened to her music, go and do so because you will love it. My favorite TV show of the month has been Good Girls on Netflix. I don't usually watch a lot of TV or a lot of series. I mostly watch YouTube, but my sister and I started Good Girls and we haven't finished it yet. We're nearly done with season two, so no spoilers, please. It's about these three women who robbed a grocery store because they needed some cash and the money that they found happened to be linked with like this bad guy and drugs and money laundering and all that kind of stuff and they get really involved with it and oh my god it's like funny but a little bit like it gets your heart racing Whew. i've really really been enjoying it and i can't wait to finish that i hope there's another season coming out soon also queer eye season four was just released on netflix and i've got one episode left like i didn't want to watch them all at once i kind of wanted to span it out if you've watched it let me know down below what your favorite episode of the series was my first one was i forget his name but it was the guy in the wheelchair wesley i think that was his name oh my god such a beautiful episode and my second favorite episode so far was the old fella that lived in his parents' home. I can't remember his name, but again, another beautiful episode. I, I just love that show. It's so heartwarming. It makes you just feel really good. And then my favorite YouTuber of the month, I mentioned her before, Jessica Braun. Her videos are just so creative. She talks about a lot of drugstore products as well, which I really love. She's a really genuine person, really down to earth, and she also does a few vlogs as well. So it's nice to see that mix amongst her channel. Okay, well that is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I would love to know some of your favorites of the month as well. So leave me a comment down below. Makeup products, TV shows, YouTubers, whatever else I mentioned, music. <laughs> if you don't already, come follow me over on Instagram. If you do follow me on Instagram, I want you to take a screenshot from this video. The funnier the facial expression, the better. Post it to your Instagram stories, tag me, and I will share it over on my Instagram stories. Well, I hope you're all having a great day. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.